Hey guys, today we are going to talk about invitations to treat. I hope you have viewed the video I made earlier on uh, offers. A lot of people confuse invitations to treat as offers. Okay, For example, goods on display on a store uh, are not offers for sale. They are merely invitations to treat. The Singapore uh, Court of Appeal in the case of uh, Ge Chun Ing stated that an invitation to treat is an attempt to initiate negotiations, to induce offers. Therefore, a response to an invitation to treat can never be acceptance or to result in a contract. And a person making an invitation to treat does not intend to be bound as soon as it is accepted by the person to whom the statement is addressed. So, advertisements are generally not offers. This, was, uh, this principle was laid down in the case of workplace consultants and Teo Sing Siu. In that case, uh, the uh, in that case, someone plays a newspaper ad for the sale of uh, property, and it was held to be an invitation to treat rather than an offer to sale, offer to sell. So, what about goods on display in a store, a shop, or the supermarket? In the English case of Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain and Boots Cash Chemist. The Court of Appeal held that, held that goods on display are merely invitations to treat. When the customer picks up the goods and brings it to the cashier, the customer is making an offer. And then when the co cashier collects the money, it is acceptance. Then the contract uh, occurs during that time. The reasoning is that if uh, goods on display in a shop are considered to be offers, then if a customer picks up the goods, it is equivocal, it is hard to decide whether it is acceptance because the customer may subsequently put it back if, it, if he decides not to proceed with the sale. So merely, so merely picking up the goods displayed in a store cannot be construed as acceptance. Otherwise, if you pick up goods on display and and you are deemed to have accepted it, then a contract would have formed and then you cannot return it because there's a valid contract. Therefore, goods on display are merely invitations to treat. What about quotations? Well, in the case of XA Manufacturing Holdings, the Court of Appeal held that quotations are generally not offers but are merely invitations to treat. But you have to look at the quotation as a whole to consider whether it can be construed as an offer. If the quotation can be accepted unconditionally and considered binding the moment the buyer issues a purchase order, then, it, it can be, then the quotation can be construed as an offer. Tenders, okay, when a person invites tenders, bids to bids for, for a, a project, okay, tenders are also not considered offers but invitations to treat. Just because a person uh, submits the lowest bid does not automatically mean that he will uh, enter into a contract with the person making the tender because the person making the tender may not necessarily want to choose the person who made who offered the lowest bid because he wants uh, someone who can provide better quality services or better quality products. So thanks for watching this video on Invitations to Treat.